Hello, I'm Nasmus Kandekar, and in this video, let's take a look at the advanced run command found in Windows 7. Now, back in the old days, when you had Windows, Windows 3.1, um, the graphical user interface was not completely mature, so the run command back then was a very convenient way to open the files. Uh, in the run command, you could type in the whole address of a program or a file, and then click the OK button. If the file existed, it would open, otherwise it would give you an error message. The same run command is still here in Windows 7, but we also have an upgraded run command to, uh, directly integrated with the start menu. Let's take a look. You can access the run command simply by typing run in the start menu. You can also configure it so that the run command appears right here. To do that, right click on the start button. Click Properties. Make sure in the Start Menu tab, click on the Customize button. In the list, find the Run command. It's right here. Check it. Click OK. Click, click OK again. And you should see the Run command here. Now let's recap what it does. You can type the full address of a file or a program to run it. Let's uh, give an example. Let's, let me try the C drive, C colon slash, and it shows me in the list all the folders and files available in this drive. I'll type in Tau World. As you can see, it gives me a more refined list. And I'll, it shows me uh, more files and folders in this Tau World folder. I'll type tworld.exe. And I press enter, and it started the program for me. As you can see, um, uh, the run command you could easily access the program. Now, what this program is is a game that you could make and play on your own levels with. Uh, it's a fun game. I'll go over this in another video, but um, it's a nice one. For example, here I made a level right here. You know, even though I'm not the best gamer here, but this is still fun. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. Now, with the run command, you could also do another neat thing, and that's command line. And you know what? If you don't know what command line is, it's it's something that it's a, it's a nice thing that will allow you to tell the program how it should run before running it. For example, let's have a a fan, fantasy program that shows you what time it is, and you could start it by tapping in time in the start menu. But if you want to know what time it is in um, Australia, you could have done time and then space, tap in Australia as the command line. Now each program will have its own command line, and you ha you might have to check that their help file um, for the for your programs to see what command line works for those programs. Now I'm gonna work with the same program here. It remembers what I last typed, and I'm gonna type this command line dash capital F. Now for this program, this command line means it'll run in full screen mode. Boom. And the video might be a little cut in this uh, recording because I'm not full screen recording here, but you'll still be able to see part of the game I'm playing. As you can see, the game is in full screen mode and it's fun. I'm still playing, but it's more awesome experience because I'm in full screen mode. Anyways, as you see here, you can see the con uh, basic concept of a command line. There could be multiple command command lines, and of course some programs do not accept command lines. Depends on what, what program you use. And again, you want to check your help uh, file for that program. Now, this is what the run command is good for, tapping in command lines. Now, one last thing I want to show you is that Windows 7 and Vista has a run command built into the start menu. Now, what I mean is that you could think of this search box right here as the run command. Now just type in as you would in the run command. Let's type in C colon slash and you could see it shows me all the folders and files with a graphical representation. I could simply click him to start it. Or I could go on further by typing Tau roll. Oops. And you could see it gives me a refined list, T dot exe. I could also type in the command line here too. So this is exactly what the run command is. Uh, same thing. We okay. Anyways, um, and one last thing about the run command is actually it understands it, Windows has some specific keywords built in. They'll do some uh, something. They'll open up some Windows features. 
For example, in run, you could type in dx diag, dx, D I A G, and it'll know you want to open the DirectX dialog box. You don't have to type the full address for it. You could do the same in um, the start menu, dx, D I A G, and it'll appear here. So it's your choice whether you want to use the start menu or the run command. This is a more nicer way of doing it. And you could also access your documents or any pictures through the start menu by typing in its address, or you could use this. The only po good thing about advantage of this run command is that it remembers what you typed last time, unlike the start menu. But uh, nevertheless, this is a very neat feature built into the start menu um, of Windows 7 and Vista. Sorry, no, ex sorry for the XP users. You still gotta use the only run command right here, which also works. But it's a very nice feature, and I hope you learn something from it and you can make use of it. Um, and until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.